Hello everyone, I'm the Airplane Expert Hideki. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to review an aircraft with a beautiful dark glass model. It is 172 Mikoyan Grevich MiG 25 PD Fox Bat 1025 Aerial Scourgeon. Vivian Air Force from Hobby Master. The Mekuan Gorbich MiG 25PD Fox Bat is a supersonic interceptor and reconnaissance aircraft that was among the fastest military aircraft to enter service. It was designed by the Soviet Union's Mikoyan Gorbich Bureau and is one of the few combat aircrafts built primarily using stainless steel. It was the last plane designed by Mikhail Grevich before his retirement. As of 2020, the MiG-25 remained one of the highest flying military aircraft and is one of the fastest serially produced interceptor aircraft. The MiG-25 has an operational top speed of Mach 2.83. In fact, it can fly at Mach 3.4, but at the risk of significant damage to the aircraft and its engines. It also features a powerful radar and four air-to-air -air missiles. Work on the new Soviet interceptor that became the MiG-25 started in mid-1959, a year before Soviet intelligence warned of the American Mark III A-12 reconnaissance aircraft. The first prototype was a reconnaissance variant, designed YE-155R1, that made its first flight on 6 March 1964. The first fighter of the interceptor prototype, YE-155P1, took place on September 9, 1964. Development of the MiG-25, which represented a major step forward in Soviet aerodynamics, engineering, and metallurgy, took several more years to complete. On July 9, 1967, the new aircraft was first shown in the public at the Domodedovo Air Show, with four prototypes, three fighters and a reconnaissance aircraft, making a fly pass. At an air show at Moscow Domodedovo Airport, the MiG-25 suddenly appeared and passed over it at high speed. In addition to this flight pass, the Soviet Union exhibited a variety of aircraft, including prototypes and experimental aircraft, and the MiG-23 and Su-15 were the latest model jet fighters at this air show.
We are some aircraft experts who are so shocked by this. Overestimate the perform as the Soviet Union intended. In particular, due to the size of the MiG-25's large wings, large caliber exhaust, and air intake, the United States predicted that it would be a very high performance fighter with a top fan engine and a long range. At that time, many of the fighters used by the United States had poor mobility. And there was a sense of crisis that the MiG-25 could not be completed. So it was decided that the Magnum Douglas F-15 Eagles would be developed instead, which has excellent mobility. Western countries obtained a better understanding of the MiG-25's capabilities. On the 6th of September 1976, when a Soviet Air Defense Force pilot, Lieutenant Viktor Varenko, defected landing his MiG-25P at Hakodate Airport in Japan. Despite Soviet protest, the Japanese invited U.S. Air Force personnel to investigate the aircraft. On September 25, it was moved by a C-5A transport to the Hyakuri Airways, where it was carefully dismantled and analyzed. Despite Soviet protests, the Japanese invited U.S. Air Force personnel to investigate to the aircraft. On September 25th, it was moved by a C-5A transport to the Hyakuri Airways, where it was carefully dismantled and analyzed. As a result of the investigation, the MiG-25 was not the fighter air superiority fighter, which initially worried Western countries, but a typically Russian interceptor combat plane with the main purpose of air defense which is fully integrated into the Soviet air defense system. The investigative team concludes that the initial concern for Western countries was overestimation. After 6-7 days, the aircraft was returned by ship to the Soviets in places. The aircraft was reassembled and is now on display as the so-called plant in Nizvi Novgorod. The Soviet Union was worried that the incident might have exposed its air defense system to the West, and since then, it had decided to renew the equipment installed on the MiG-25. In particular, the onboard radar and related systems have been changed to completely different systems. After the equipment was updated, the MiG-25 was renamed to MiG-25PD. The note radar was replaced with the RP-25 subfield. NATO codename Hilark, Wada, which was an improved version of the MiG 23ML's onboard Wada. This Wada has a look down, shoot down capability, and mount target pointing capabilities has been added. In addition, the electronic equipment was changed and the underside of the nose was equipped with an infrared tracking device that was also diverted from the MiG-23ML.
Since then, the aircraft has been deployed, but the MiG-25 PD also had several series. And the earlier one are similar in appearance to the MiG-25P. Since then, this aircraft has been deployed, but the MiG-25 PD also had several series. And the earlier ones are similar in appearance to the MiG-25P. The already deployed MiG-25P has also been upgraded to the PD standard. MiG 25 PDS. Production of the MiG 25 series ended in 1984 after the compilation of 1186 aircraft. A symbol of the Cold War, the MiG 25 flew with the Soviet allies and former Soviet republics, remaining in limited service in several export customers. This model was used in the 1025th Area of Squadron, Libyan Arab Republic Air Force. The Libyan Arab Republic Air Force operated a large number of MiG-25s. Some sources say more than 60 were delivered. Specifically, MiG-25PD, MiG-25RBK, MiG-25PU and MiG-25RU variants. They were operated by 1025 Scourge at Jifrahan, 1055 Scourge at the Gandavia, and an unidentified Scourge at Saba Air Base. As of February 2007, Air Force monthly reported all aircraft of the type had been retired. Today, we looked at the 170D Mikoyan Grevich MiG 25PD Fox but 1025th Area of Scourge, Libyan Arab Republic Air Force from Hawaii Master. My airplane videos are available every Thursday. Hope to see you again soon. Subscribe, break ready, now.